Now, he's the man who could be the next Prime Minister of Greece. Until a few weeks ago, very few people had heard of him. But Alexis Tsipras could soon be leading his country on a collision course with the European Union over the bailouts. His anti-austerity stance won his Syriza party second place in the recent general election, and a new opinion poll tonight suggests it could finish top in next month's runoff. Our foreign affairs correspondent, Jonathan Rugman, has been to meet him. He is Greece's youngest political leader and head of its second biggest party. And if support for 37-year-old Alexis Tsipras continues to rise ahead of the election rerun next month, he may form Greece's next government and decide the future of the euro. On his visits to Paris and Berlin this week, the Athenian said he wanted Greece to stay in the single currency. But he also says he wants to end what he calls the catastrophic austerity measures. Greece agreed with the Eurozone and the IMF. The question is, can Mr Tsipras have it both ways? Or will Europe's leaders insist, as they did in Brussels last night, that Greece must stick to the terms of its multi-billion euro bailout? And if they do stand firm, Mr Tsipras could be forced to take Greece out of the euro. Earlier this evening, I met the man of the moment of European politics, and the Syriza party leader told me in a mix of English and Greek that he doesn't believe the Eurozone really will carry on insisting on Greek austerity. We don't believe that they will insist in the austerity measures, because now they can understand that the problem is not Greek problem, it's a European problem. And if Greece go outside Europe, a eurozone and a euro, the second day, the next day, the markets will try to find who will be the next. And the next is Italy with 1.9 trillion uh, euros debt and not like Greece, we have only uh, 350 billion euros So debt. you're confident so that they're bluffing? We, we believe that they will not instead in their uh, positions. I don't know if they're bluffing or if they try to do their best to cut our forces in Greece because we have elections in Greece and uh, they want uh, new democracy in PASOK to be in the government the and not us. But, but I believe that at the end of the day they will uh, decide with, uh, uh, with, by, by, by thinking what, 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 what it's better for all of us, not only for Greece, but for all Europe. What if the Germans are not bluffing? What if they say enough is enough? You either stay in the euro with austerity or you leave. Are you prepared to take Greece out of the euro? I don't believe that they will instead in this position. So we have to discuss for a real solution for Greek problem because at the end of the day, it's not a Greek problem. It's a European problem. So, it's win-win to find a solution without austerity, with, without internal devaluation, but of course with some structural reforms that we need to do, but of course with a, a, a real solidarity. Of course, we need the Marshall Plan, not only for Greece, but also for all uh, the countries of uh, uh, the South in Europe. So, for example, cutting the minimum wage by 22%, which is supposed to happen next, would you go ahead with that if you were Prime Minister? <laughs> I think that it's uh, I impossible to be hardened. And uh, cutting pensions, even, would, would even, you be prepared to do even that? Even in the government, it's new democracy in the PASOK. It's impossible. So, for example, the 11 billion euros of austerity measures you're supposed to implement by the end of June, will you, would you go ahead with those? Do you actually think they would be able to implement these measures in a busted economy with people that are in difficulties? New austerity measures of 11 billion euros, practically these are not implementable. And before they were even told to implement the measures, they would realise that they wouldn't have the ability to do it, that they would ask for a third rescue package and a second bailout. We are asking our European partners. The problem is not Syriza coming to destroy the smooth process. The problem is the austerity measures which have failed. It's not possible to implement them. Basically what you're saying is the choice that David Cameron and other leaders now say faces Greece, you're saying there is no choice. 
you can have your cake and you can eat it. You can stay in the euro and you can water down austerity. Is that right? I believe we find ourselves in the situation equivalent to the one the US found itself in with Russia back during the days of the Cold War. Both sides had nuclear weapons in their hands and both sides threatened to push the button and activate. When you have a Cold War, neither side will back down, so now we don't expect Mrs. Merkel or Mr. Cameron to back down either. We are quite sure that when the time comes, logic will prevail and they will not activate their nuclear weapons. The view from Greece